hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to make use of your test and your highlight on uh, power director so mostly we are going to be checking all of the pre-existing tests and how to make use of the basic ones and the pro ones also but uh, quick note make sure if you're making use of the pro ones you have to make use of the premium version so you need to subscribe to the premium version in order to make use of that all right guys let's dive into that go ahead and open your power director power video director and then let's dive in all right guys so we have our power director video editor open so all we need to do is to click on new project right here and right here the first option displays our project name so you can enter a project name or leave that on default it will automatically generate a project name based on today's date and it's going to add a project in front of it now for your aspect ratio go ahead and choose whichever one you want to make use of but for this case i'm making use of 16 ratio 9 which is actually the default size for youtube videos so I'm going to click on the folder where I have my video which is right here so I'm going to click on plus icon to add it and you notice it's been displayed so that is uh, on our timeline I'm going to back out back out to show the preview area so this is our preview this is how it is placed so in order for us to add a test all we need to do um, uh, let me go ahead and navigate back all we need to do is to click on this um, third icon right there. It's actually the layer icon which allows us to add layers so that it will be able to um, display over the main video. This first one on the timeline is our main video. So on this layer area, we are going to have the text so that it's going to display and display over our video playing. So um, go ahead and click on this layer icon to add the layer so on default it opens this area for you so you can easily add test by clicking on this area and adding the plus icon you notice the test has been added below let me navigate back so that you guys can see so i'm going to double click on that and then i'm going to highlight to edit the test you can go ahead and delete if you want so i'm going to add ts tech All right, it's been displayed. Um, I'm going to change this to cap. All right, so once you're done typing, just go ahead and click on this check icon to confirm. And you can notice it has displayed the test for us. So depending on you, you can go ahead and drag it down or put it wherever you want it to be. And actually this is going to be a static test. You can notice as I place the video, nothing happens, right? It doesn't animate, right? But that's cool just chill out because you can actually animate that particular test so all you need to do is to click on that particular test click on this edit icon and you can notice where it says animation right go ahead and tap on that animation so it says in and out animation so you are going to give it an in animation and in animation actually means how it's going to come in and then an out animation is going to be how it's going to sign out or go out so i'm going to click an in animation and i'm going to select a particular one so the first option right there is fade this is pop up this is balloon there are several options you can go ahead and swipe left to see all of the options existing and quick note guys anywhere you see this try right there that try actually means is a premium version of thing so if you're making use of that it's definitely going to be a premium version so um ignore that particular option if you want to make use of your test so i'm going to go ahead and choose this fade so it's going to fade in from the beginning so let's play it so you see how it works you notice how it fades in right now if that's not convincing or that's not cool enough click on edit animation um in animation um i'm actually going to click on slide let me look for slide slide is actually very cool okay scroll scroll no um slide up slide down slide left what is that solo not slide oh slide down the slide is actually a premium version thing there is no slide right there so i'm just going to make use of um this pop-up you know what guys just go ahead and explore this go ahead and explode explore it and if you're okay with it that's fine so i'm choosing pop-up and then you know this is a pop-up um there is this icon that displays so it actually says um depending on how fast you want it to be so the pop-up is going to be um, 1.7 ratio faster if you want it to be faster go ahead and increase it let me click on play you notice how it plays right now let me go ahead and slide it down to 8 and now let's um this 
let's go ahead and play oh let me go back let me go back and play you notice how fast it is now let me increase it just notice on the timeline area you see how it goes watch you notice if when you increase it it actually makes it slower and then when you reduce it it actually makes it faster so just go ahead and play around it before you decide which one you want to make use of so that is our in animation you can also click edit add animation and then put an out animation so i'm going to make it fade so i'm going to choose this 17 ratio i'm going to increase that and let's see that's fine so let's play it from the beginning again this is how it comes in and this is how it fades out very cool right now let's go ahead and add even more i'm going to press the layer once more and then i'm actually going to uh, um, look for a very unique one this is blink so i'm going to tap on that and then i'm going to add it so the reason why i'm choosing it is because um they actually add different um, effects to it you cannot see it very clear because on this our uh, video our uh, video is white and the um, test is white so you can't see it clearly so i'm going to add a layer and then i'm going to make it photo i'm going to fill the color i'm going to make it black add it to the timeline it has been added now let me go ahead and navigate back navigate even back this is it so i'm going to click I want to drag it. Yeah. All right. There is not in the beginning yet. Okay. So now you notice it's on top, right? So I need to bring this down. So I brought it down and I need to take this up there there you go so let's play now you notice you see how it blinks right i just want you guys to see the effect properly that's the reason why i have to drag it the way i just did right now so let me go ahead and increase it further so that you see this effect play out properly let's play again notice just observe very well you notice it actually blinks right now you can also edit the text by double clicking and then editing it i'm going to highlight and then delete so i'm going to say and then confirm now you notice the test change so whichever effect you want to do whatever you want to do just go ahead and play around it and once you're satisfied with it go ahead and save it up and leave that out that is all for today's video if you have any question go ahead and ask uh, you can always click on this layer to add even more if you want to do that click on the plus icon it will be added for you back out to see what you've added they are all right there click on it move it around set it on a position where you want it to be and that is all if you want to edit double click on it and then highlight and then edit so i'm going to say and then confirm you notice it has changed right so everything can just work out for you click on it double click edit add effect test designer blending the test add a backdrop adding a backdrop is actually giving it a background so you can do a lot of things increase opacity to make it a bit transparent you notice it being transparent right there so there's a lot of things you can do with test play around it and when you're satisfied go ahead and save up your video so that is all i want to show you guys on how to make use of test on your um power video director so if this is cool enough smash like subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and i'm going to see you guys on my next video stay safe guys and peace